A unipolar, bipolar, or multipolar neuron? Multipolar. Multipolar because it has? I saw that right. More than one dendrite. More than one dendrite. No. Two dendrites. Okay. It has more than three, uh, more than two. Three or more processes sticking out of the thing. If you the axon, you know, et cetera. So this one has many. Okay. And uh, so would this make this unipolar or bipolar? Or, I mean, it's I mean, would it make it sensory or motor or association? And why is it motor? Myelin. Okay, it's a myelin sheath. Um, and it's myelinated by what? Schwann cell. Where do you find Schwann cells? In the epiphrenic. Only in the peripheral part of the nervous system. What myelinates in the central nervous system? Oligodendrocytes. So this is not central nervous system. Okay. Now, Association neurons also can be multipolar, so why can't this be an association neuron? Because it's my Well, what about the... Where are association neurons Just found? central. Only in the central nervous system. We've already decided this has to be in the peripheral nervous system yeah. because it has a Schwann cell. Right. But it's just, so this part is called the what? Myelin sheath and the outermost portion where you have the nucleus and the other rest of the cytoplasm would be the neurolemma, neurolemma, neurolemma. which is important in helping guide repair. And one of the reasons we can get repair in the peripheral nervous system, but not central. What's this? The epi. Epi is around a nerve. This is not a nerve. Endoneurion. And you have a collection of fibers and wrap it up. It's called a fascicle. You wrap it up that. Uh, perineurium. The whole nerve, like the sciatic nerve, would be wrapped up in a epineurium. Can't think of anything else to say here. The nodes. Oh, what's this? The nodes. Nodes of Rangier. So the conduction down here kind of jumps from node to node. That's called saltatory conduction. Saltari means to leap. As opposed to if there was no myelin, we'd have continuous conduction, which is faster. Saltatory. Saltatory. Okay, and it's more efficient. You don't have it. ions can't go back and forth here because it's insulating. Okay. And if you lose this insulating, you're going to have problems, right? Okay. And if you lose that insulation in the central nervous system, that's called, uh, or if you lose the insulation, it's called demyelination. And that can be from things like heavy metals and other diseases I told you about, Guillain Barre. And What's another one that we have studied in class? MS. MS, multiple sclerosis. But that would be in the central nervous system. Okay. Let's get a spinal cord over here.